Here's a frightening number for you. Student sent since 2003, so I guess that's 14 years. Peter Marisi still with us, waiting patiently, and we appreciate that. Peter, is this some sort of economic indicator? Well, it's a very bad economic indicator mm. for two reasons. One is people are paying too much for higher education, higher education from the very top to the very bottom. Community colleges all the way on up to Harvard and Cornell and the rest have become too expensive, too bloated, too inefficient, and frankly, don't do a very good job. And the second thing is it's really holding up the housing market because we're more and more we're seeing young people in their as late 30s with 30, 40, 50 thousand dollars in debt. They never really get out from under. So they're renters their whole lives. In fact, businesses have popped up that are buying moderately priced suburban houses to rent to these people because they're never really going to be able to be homeowners and then it's going to be multi generational. You know, right. if you're 35 to 40 and in this situation, when you're 45 and 50, you're not going to be able to help your kids with college. They're going to be heavily indebted. We're creating an underclass of state college graduates who are in perpetual debt. I'm assuming that you take out the University of Maryland out of that. No, not a bit. Not no? a bit. The University of Maryland and I have a strained relationship. When I came up for emeritus professor, one out of four professors in my college voted against me because they said I was saying things that were bad for the college. It is not legitimate to criticize them on these kinds of issues, apparently. Oh, no, I haven't left them out at all. Wow, I touched a nerve there, didn't I? Is well, it too I've got to remember, I've got to be, a, I've got to be an equal opportunity critic. Sure. I mean, we spend tons of money on political correctness at my university. Can you possibly believe that, you know, certain groups are any longer disadvantaged at a place like that? Yet we have new commissions every day, new hires every day to promote those issues. It's absurd. Mm. I have to leave it there. The formerly tenured professor at the University of Maryland. I well, guessed. I'm going to, by the way, <laughs> Stu offered me your job in case something happens. So you, now, you enough, think about it the next time you raise this. Okay. <laughs> you and your bow tie, come on down. We appreciate it. As always, great stuff, Peter. I believe you're still sticking around with us. So uh, we'll yeah, talk about it. Am this I more. still? Don't <laughs> go away, that's for sure.